Today, we have some big news. Google is paying five figures or more for people like you to create just three articles a day using Google Gemini AI. And that's not even close to the biggest opportunity to get money online with AI I'm gonna reveal in this video. But first, if you can go to an AI tool like Google Gemini Advanced over here and type something in like, please create an article comparing the investment strategies of Ray Dalio, Warren Buffett, and Elon Musk. Well then, apparently, Google's willing to pay you a lot of money. And you can see, this doesn't even take that long. All you need to do is create the article using five sources with AI, do a little research and fact checking to make sure it's a good article, and then boom, you get paid. Yep, it really is that simple. And you can see here, the news has been buzzing about this new Google paid to create article program. Google is paying five figure sums to small publishers, asking them to test out the new AI platform geared towards newsrooms. And before you get excited and say, but Marcus, how many people are they gonna hire? Is it guaranteed? Do I have to be a news junkie or anchor or, I mean, what credentials do I need? I wanna point out one glaring fact. A company worth trillions of dollars is willing to pay people to use their AI tool and create three articles a day. Because quite simply, that tells us there's big money testing out AI tools and creating content using AI. And if you were to go ask AI what companies out there will pay you to create AI content, you're gonna see that the list goes on and on and on. Yes, you can get paid to create AI content starting today. In fact, I do this all the time. Last year, personally, I made hundreds of thousands of dollars creating AI content using these dirt cheap $20 a month AI tools. So if you got 20 bucks, a willingness to work and some time on your hands, you can get paid. But there's one glaring problem and that problem opens the doors to what I believe is one of the biggest money-making opportunities that I've seen in over 25 years of making money online. Beware the top Google search result. It might be wrong, wrong, wrong. AI's rise will cut search engine traffic affecting advertising, the rise of AI-generated spam. Google has a profound spam problem. Forget junk mail, junk content is the new nuisance thanks to AI. Okay, so in just a minute, we're gonna get to this list of sites that'll pay you to generate AI content. Some of them pay as little as a couple of dollars an hour, and some of them pay over $100 an hour. We're gonna get to that in just a minute. But first, a story. Back when I was doing SEO marketing in the year 2008, things got pretty crazy. There was a lot of people trying to get ranked in the search engines because, let's face it, there was a lot of money there. And so they would create little content generators that would make content that was more or less spammy and not good. It provided a bad experience for people searching online to find the information they wanted. And back then, all this content was deemed garbage by Google. They had to come up with a plan to clean up the search results. So they took out the trash and unfortunately, a lot of good websites went with it. Legitimate websites that people actually like to read were nowhere to be found. And along with all the traffic, they lost a ton of money. And back then, there was a couple of people who knew how to get rankings on search engines that came out with a course called StomperNet. This course promised that you could rank and make tons of money. And that course was in such high demand from people who wanted to rank on Google that they made over $18 million in one day. Now, the way they handled the business was less than satisfactory, but that's not the point. The point is the demand was enough 
to generate $18 million in just one day. And today, we're seeing the same thing happen. Because of the rise of AI, content is so easy to create online and people aren't checking it. They're just putting content out there and kind of hoping for the best, which again, just like 2008, leads to a bad user experience, which at the end of the day makes Google look bad. And right now, there is more spam online than has ever been before. And again, Google is throwing out good sites with the bad in effort to clean this whole mess up. And just like in 2008, a lot of people are losing a ton of money. So there's two opportunities at play here. One, you can get paid by companies like Google, iWriter, and a few others I'll mention in a minute, which is more or less a job, but hey, you can make some good money doing this. Or if you wanna make serious money, there is an opportunity lurking right in front of our faces, just like the one I seized back in 2008, just like the one that made that company over $18 million in one day and made countless other people a small fortune. But first, a question. Have you ever seen the movie Pretty Woman? Where the fancy guy drives up in his fancy car and makes money in some weird way that a lot of people don't understand. Well, it's kind of the same thing we're talking about today. Richard Gere's character actually bought businesses that were struggling. He would buy them for pennies on the dollar, rebuild them up, and make a fortune. And that's exactly the opportunity that's going on today. Only, unlike Richard Gere's character, you don't have to have a ton of money to start. In fact, yeah, sometimes you can start for less than $100. Because what's happening and is about to get even bigger is a lot of businesses abandoning their domain names because their search engine rankings have dropped. Which means we can scoop these up for pennies on the dollar, build them up, and rake in serious money. That's exactly what I've been doing for over 20 years. Come on, let me show you how it works. Okay, so first off, here are the places that are going to pay you. Here, you can see Google is paying news people to publish AI-generated content. Down here, you can see exactly where they are having applications and different things like that. However, this is something that's very small. Even though you can get paid, I think it pales in comparison to the big opportunity I want to talk to you about in just a minute. Next, we can see places that are actually paying and charging for AI-generated content that has a human overlook. So the human goes through, makes the content, or makes it with AI and then reviews it, or they get AI-generated content and review it and get paid. We can see here that some of these services are between $700, $2,000, even $2,500 a month for just 20 hours of editor time, which means if you're the editor, you're gonna make quite a bit per hour. We can also see places like iWriter offering AI edited content here, where it's about one penny per word, which sounds really low, but I could generate around 3000 words of content in less than 15 minutes and edit it in a very simple way. Over here, we have Hire Writers who is doing the same thing, where they're charging for articles to be written, anywhere from 700 to 1,000 word article for 425 and up. Also, some services like Content at Scale are selling AI content at a premium. Now, this is 100% AI generated content. I actually know the people who run this company and they're doing a great job and they're getting paid for 100% AI generated content content. So we can see that getting paid with AI content is a great way to make money. However, one of the things we are going to notice, as the news report said, is that certain websites are going to be hammered with Google penalties and ranking drops as innocent bystanders of this whole spam AI debacle. Which means there's an avenue for people like you and me to swoop in, get those websites, wait out the storm, build them up, and make money super fast. And the way we're gonna do that is through domain buying. This is where you acquire the domain name of a once existing website or a website that just simply didn't renew their domain and you take it over and build a business out of it. 
and many times these already have the business infrastructure ranking and ready to go. And just to put this in perspective, there are thousands and thousands of videos online about how to make money with Etsy. And there's hundreds of thousands of people trying to make money on Etsy. Yet the entire sales of the Etsy platform last year was like $2 billion, which means the competition is high and the amount made per person is very low. Compare that with the domain name industry. This includes domains, domains at auction, domains being sold from business to business. Yeah, pretty much everything. $9.5 billion in 2023 alone. And yet, not many people talk about domain buying, selling, and building as a business model. Which means triple the amount of money and less than one thousandth of the competition. So if you're looking to make money, this is something that stands the test of time, actually works, and isn't too competitive for you to get started. But how does this whole thing work? I mean, you can go and buy these domains and hope that someone wants to buy them for more than you pay, or we could pull back the curtain and look at a different reason people might buy domain names. In fact, if you were to take a look at my GoDaddy auctions, you can see several domains I bought from anywhere from $40 to $1,000. And the reason I buy these is simple. Something like ifatigue.com is a good domain, and according to GoDaddy, it's worth about $3,800, which is pretty good. That means my $675 investment is relatively safe. Now again, take this with a grain of salt because you never know what something is worth until you have an actual buyer. But after doing this for almost 25 years, I could be pretty sure to say, yeah, if I had to sell this today for $675, I think I'd have no problem, especially since I know someone below me bid like $674, so I'm pretty safe there. But the name alone isn't why I bought it. In fact, if you were to go over here and look up the domain in a keyword research tool, you can see that this domain ranks for over 400 different keywords in Google related to eye fatigue. And some of these get a huge amount of money per click. We can see that this website has actually been around a while and ranks for all different kinds of terms from glasses to contacts to reducing eye strain and on and on we go. And since I know the eyeglasses eye strain market is super valuable, this is a domain I can build up as a info site about what types of glasses or what to do about eye strain and different things like that and make tons of money with affiliate offers, AdSense, different Amazon links, and eventually sell it to a big eyeglasses company for lots and lots of money. And these domains are coming on the market more and more now that the Google shakeup with AI is happening. And not only that, but AI makes it easier to create content for your site. Again, where we're talking about doing human edited content, we can actually use AI to do the legwork and the research, and then all I do is fancy up the article. And it's actually super simple. I can take a keyword like computer glasses, create a simple article, rank it in Google since it already ranked, bada bing, bada bang, I get the traffic, I get the money. You can also see another one here I bought for colleges in Southern California. This was for the college market, which as we know, College is not cheap. We can see that in its heyday, which was just six months ago, this ranked for over 1,500 keywords, including a number three ranking for colleges in Southern California. And you can see lots of people are searching for this stuff, which means there's tons of money in this domain. And you can see the content we created for the client is actually ranking virtually instantly. But why does this work? More about that in just a minute. Let's take a look at a couple other domains. Here's one I got in the makeup market, More Than Glam. We can see here, this domain cost me almost $1,000. However, it has over 1,100 rankings in Google right now, today, while I'm filming this video. And not only that, but if we go back in history six months, 15,000 rankings in Google. And according to similarweb.com, this thing is getting almost 30,000 visitors a month, and it's on an upward trajectory. Meaning, with a little TLC, I can build this into a healthy income if done correctly. And as you can see here, there's tons of affiliate offers for makeup, beauty, 
and all kinds of things, including some of these that are like $130, $110, $400 per sale. And that's what I get, not how much it costs. And the list keeps going and going. There are tons of ways to make money with this traffic. But again, while I think there's six figures in this market or more, the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. Even with the right domain name and the right work, the average person trying to make money online makes nothing. However, I think you can see here that buying these domains and building them up as businesses is probably the most straightforward way to make money ever. I mean, check out this one, themeatsmokingguy.com. This was a website about barbecue. In its heyday, over 3,000 rankings in Google, including keywords related to different types of smokers and barbecues, which cost tons of money. And the list goes on and on and on. And you might be saying, but Marcus, that's all fine and good. I don't got 200 bucks or 1,000 bucks to drop on a domain I hope will work. Well, my friend, don't worry. This is all about finding different avenues based on your budget you can build and grow like crazy. Let's take a look at one I think you'll really like. Here on OfferVault, we could see portable air conditioner, $48 per sale. If we do something like HVAC, we can also see that there are leads that are up to $50 for a lead, meaning we don't have to sell anything, we just generate a lead. But how are we gonna get traffic for people looking for portable air conditioners? Well. Just this morning, I won this auction over at Namecheap, bestportableairconditioner.net. You could see this domain, a couple of months ago, ranked for all different types of portable air conditioners. See what I'm getting at here? This one, even today, still has 92 rankings in Google for like portable AC with no water, portable air conditioner water tank, types of swamp coolers. I mean, this thing's ripe for the picking. All I need to do is build some good content, put it up on these pages that ranked, point to the things that make me money, and bada bang, we're in business. And the cool thing about this is sometimes when buying domains, you can actually get people that buy them for more money than you spend. Like one I did, I bought it for $9 and sold it for $7,500 less than three weeks later. Now, this is an extreme example, and while this has happened several times throughout my career, like the one I bought for 15 and sold for 25,000, and countless others I sold in the $1,000 range, $3,000 range, again, the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. And remember, I'm not actively trying to sell a lot of these domains I just mentioned. Nope, these people actually reach out to me. So domains can be worth a lot of money with and without search engine rankings. I like to buy ones with search engine rankings because that gives me another business avenue I can build. This one I got in for $15. I can build a business out of this. I just need to do the work. And it's actually not that hard. It's the same thing you'd be doing on Google if you were generating AI content, reviewing it, and making stuff that people actually wanna read. And if you don't think this is profitable or a big business, take a look at this article on the New York Times website. The New York Times thought it was so profitable to talk about best portable air conditioners that they made a post or an article about the different air conditioners. Here it is here, it's just a couple months old. And based on the search traffic and the amount advertisers are paying for this traffic, it's estimated to be getting almost $20,000 a month worth of free traffic on one simple post. But again, that's the New York Times. I probably can't compete with them. I'll never be as big as them. However, what if I majored in the minors and just doubled down on portable air conditioners and that's all I talked about? And I made some faceless AI videos and I created some good content and I made all kinds of things related to this market to make money. And you might be asking why this works. This works because Google's spam problem has been solved in one way throughout history. And that is not by looking at what your website says about you, i.e. the content of the page, but looking at what other people say about your website. This is known as a backlink. If you have a lot of other websites pointing to you saying best air conditioner, then Google says, well, you must be about best air conditioners. 
Ergo, you will rank at the top for the keyword. And you can see here, this air conditioner site has over 464 groups of backlinks, all talking about air conditioners, air conditioner manual, cheap air conditioner, air conditioner without hose, and on and on we go. And this is what helps it rank in Google. And since we know that Google search is a multi-trillion dollar industry, we know that buying the right domain name can be worth a ton of money. And the way that I find these domains is actually pretty simple. I use the Spamzilla tool, which I'll link in the description, a video on how to use it. And we can actually rank these by positions. We can go through and say, well, I only want one for HVAC or air conditioner. And it'll actually list them and show you exactly what's going on. And you could buy the ones that have good backlinks, good rankings, and ones that have good names that you can resell for a profit. And Spamzilla allows you all kinds of different things. You can search GoDaddy auctions, you can search GoDaddy closeouts, and pretty much anything. It's actually super easy. In fact, just the other day, I was searching on the name Silo Auctions, and I found mattressly.com. I thought this was a pretty good domain name, and it didn't have a trademark, which surprised me. According to the GoDaddy appraisal tool, it said it was worth about $1,700, which I thought was pretty accurate. Sometimes you gotta be careful because the GoDaddy tool is not based on science. And not only that, but I could see that it actually did have positions in Google for the mattress market, which is super profitable. In fact, there was a similar domain that went for over $5,000 the same day, the same hour that I bought this one. And you can see here that the rankings are all for different mattresses. And some of these are super, super high cost per click, which means I can make even more money. And not only that, but if I go to OfferVault and type something in like mattress, you can see that some of these affiliate networks are paying as much as $480 for one mattress sale, which means building this domain into a business could be big money. And this domain on auction was like $500. However, I wanted to buy it in time for this video, so I got it for the buy it now price of just about $1,000. And since the Ahrefs cost on the traffic is like a lot, I thought this was a good buy. Let me know what you think in the comments below. When buying domains, always be cautious, always be smart, don't spend money you don't have, and treat this like a business. If you're not making cash flow, you need to figure out a way to make cash flow on what you have before you start buying new stuff. But when looking at this, even buying something like this one, which is only $15, yeah, that's something I can build and grow. And the domain is over nine years old, has a good keyword search volume, rankings, and the whole nine yards. And as AI creates more spam and more problems and more sites decline and increase in the search engines, you're gonna see these domains popping up way more often, which means a huge opportunity for you to get paid. And if you wanna get the notes from this video, check out the link in the description, and I'll include some other videos on how I find these domains, buy them, and sell them for a profit.